Hi friends, welcome to Time in Python series. In this video, we're going to talk about creating a plot inside another plot using this insert access technique in Matplotlib. So basically, you will get an output something like this where you can create a plot inside a plot. You just have to use an access handle and call dot insert access and specify the position of that inner access. And that's all. You can create an access inside a bigger access. So how can you do that is given in this example. So let's try to reproduce this example again. So I'm going to take a blank folder. I'm going to open it with VS code. All right, my VS code is open. Now I'll create a new file. I'll just name it index.py. All right, so first thing I will import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Now I imported matplotlib.pyplot module into a variable called plt. So the first thing is I will create a canvas where I can create the main subplot, right? So I'll just write figure comma access handle equal to plt dot subplots. So what this does is basically it will create a figure handle and an access handle and you can plot data on this access handle. So I'll just take some data for example here. I'll just take x1, y1 and these are two arrays. So this is x axis coordinates and y axis coordinate. So I just want to plot this on this axis handle. So I'll just write ax dot plot of x1 comma y1. So now I can plot this x and y values on this axis handle. And then what I'll do is I'll just show this plot plt dot show so that's it guys so i've created an axis handle and a figure handle and i've plotted some data on it and i'm showing the plot so let me try to run this okay now i've got a plot and now i can have to use insert access to create a subplot inside this plot so now let's try to do that again so now i've got an axis handle called ax and then now i'll create an insert access inside this axis handle to do that i'll just call ax dot insert underscore access and inside that I'll give an array with four values. The first two values specify the position of that inset plot. So if you want the plot to be half, starting from half of the x-axis, I'll just write 0.5, okay? And if I want to, the axis to be starting from 30% of y-axis height, I'll just write 0.3. And I just want that axis to be 0.47 times the x-axis width and 0.47 times the y-axis height. So this is what the dimension and position I want to mention about the inner axis. So once I create that, I can assign it to a axis handle. So I'll just write ax inset is equal to ax dot inset axis. And I'm giving the x and y axis positions and I'm giving the height of that, that inset axis. So now I've got a axis inset where I can plot the data upon. So I will use it inset axis to plot data. I'll just write ax inset dot plot of x2 y2 x2 y2 are just two arrays i'll just take it from here so yeah so i have taken some x coordinates and y coordinates and i am plotting that on this inset axis so let me try to run and see how it looks like now you can see i have created an inset axis in this main axis and i plotted some data on it so now you can see just by using ax dot inset axis you can create an axis inside a main axis and plot it on it. It's really simple. Yes, it's just one line of code. And now I can even give some title to the main axis. I'll just write ax dot set underscore title and I'll just give some title to it. And I'll give the title to the inner axis also. I'll just write ax inset dot set underscore title and I'll just give some title to that. And now I'll run this. You can even see I've given title to our inset axis and the main axis. So that's how you can create an inset axis inside a main axis just by using this one line of code axis dot inset axis. You can see I've created a blog post on how to create inset axis inside a main axis. You can copy paste this code in your computer and practice it for yourself. So be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching.